Hello again, done some more work on my Jump 2A. Now I've got a spark. Um, seems if a problem was related to the cutout switch, which was here. So I've taken it out. Can't seem to do anything with it. It's got a wire coming out here now, so we can put an external switch on there. Uh, it's a nightmare getting the uh, flywheel off because the nut, the original nut that was on here, with a pulley just wouldn't budge. Uh, so in the end, unfortunately, we was always using a hacksaw on the original pulley and uh, Stilson's on a nut. So this is the replacement. Uh, good spark now, uh, spade connector there, um, sumps on, exhaust is on, a uh, new spark plug in there. Uh, I've changed the uh, grommet and cowl in there, it just makes it easier with this because otherwise, um, with the original grommet, this, this spade connector wouldn't go through. Um, there's a sumps on as well, with the split pins on the big end. So, I think that's about it for now, so I'll do a little bit more. Alright, uh, I've got quite a bit back together now. Um, the air filter's sitting in a container of petrol at the moment, it's quite dirty. Uh, I'm going to have to sort something out if the, uh, I can make a support for the rear of the tank. Obviously, I don't think one bracket there is going to support it sufficiently. I mean, it is fairly solid, but I think I'd rather try and sort something out, connect something up to here. Um, got this elbow piece on here, and that's joined up to a screw that holds the cowling on. This is for the air filter on the carb. Governor. Um, yeah, it's too bad. The compression isn't brilliant. Um, I, I've used the original head gasket, so that probably could be why. Uh, I think this HT lead is a touch too long. I've had to cut that down and resolder the spray connector there. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, that's the air filter there, sitting in petrol. Um, this is the original um, pulley for the rope start, which I had to cut up, as I mentioned a little bit earlier on. So that's uh, definitely not reusable. <laughs> so uh, um, that's that there. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can do for now. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with what I've done there. Um, need to source a petrol cap, need to look into that. Um, and I think it's just a question of uh, getting the petrol line connected, filling it with oil and uh, petrol and seeing how it goes.
Right, I've got it running. <coughs> um, it's run a little bit too fast. I think I need to uh, make adjustments to this governor here. Um, the paint does seem to be quite resilient to petrol. Um, had a couple of leaks. Um, seems to be fine. It's a crown paint. But as you can see here, it's, <laughs> it's worn away quite quickly. I just from the rope for starting it. So that's not so good, but uh, not a major problem. Um, I think I'm picking up uh, bits of grit and whatever, rust from the tank. It does look quite clean there, but I think something's coming down. And ever so often the carburetor um, blocks. I think I need to put a filter in there. Um, it looks as if there's some sort of filter inside the tank, but I don't know if that's actually doing its job. It might have a hole in it or something, I can't really see. So uh, I think that's about it. Um, the metal base was originally on. Uh, we had the water pump connected to it. I've got it indoors. That's had a couple of coats of this green paint. Um, so this will go on the base when it's finished. I was going to use wood, but um, I might make use of the base. So I think that's about it. Um, yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching.